Hey friends, Alicia Lynn Diaz here and I was out for a really beautiful hike this morning and um, it was a waterfall hike and I want to show you, this isn't the big waterfall but this is where I'm sitting by one of the little ones. Probably not the best video but um, I'm just sitting and praying and meditating and chanting down by this little mini waterfall and um, I just felt really energized and inspired to share a message with you of what nature taught me today and as I was hiking up I was up here before sunrise and um, I knew that the hike to the waterfall was not going to be super far but still there was this I was a little bit chilly because it was cold and um, I was kind of like, oh, I kind of want to get there. I want to get to my destination, right? Which um, very many of us have like a destination that we're trying to hit if we're um, working towards a certain goal in our personal life or in our business life or, you know, specific to our health goal. Like there's this destination that we want to get to. And we sometimes just live in the future of that happening. And then we find ourselves in the gap between where we are and where we really want to be and um, that can create a little frustration and urgency and sometimes despair you know and helplessness and just being like when am I gonna get there um, and this isn't comfortable right now wherever I am so kind of I was feeling that discomfort I was a little bit hungry and I was cold and I was feeling underprepared for my journey and so as I was hiking up, there were these two, there was one like really small waterfall that I hit first and it was a very small and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And just hearing the water and the whole trail was gonna be along the creek and I had never done this hike before. So I was really excited. And I was like, oh, it sounds so beautiful. It's music to my ears and, and I'm, but I'm gonna keep going because I was too cold to stop. And um, even though there was a little trail going down to it and I was like, I'm not gonna go down there right now. I gotta get to the big waterfall. So I'm, I'm going, I'm hiking along, and um, I get to this one. This is the second one. And it was a little bit bigger, and it had these beautiful ripples um, in this little pool. And oh, I was just like, okay, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. And then like, I just heard this voice. It was like as if the woods were whispering to me. And the voice was like, there's no separation between where you are and where you are going. So pause, savor, enjoy, and nourish yourself while you're at it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna listen. And I kind of just like sat right up, up the hill. It's really hard to point <laughs> the camera when I'm talking, but I just sat up at the top of that hill over there and could see a beautiful view of this this waterfall and I ate my little orange and I was just like wow just listening to it and I was just like really like soaking it in soaking the whole experience in through all five senses my the sounds the the sensations on my body the taste of my sweet fruit and I think I ate a date too a sweet little date and just the, the way that the light was starting, the early rising sun was starting to flicker in the trees. And I just really took it all in and breathed in the fresh mountain air. And, and then I felt complete in that moment. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep going. And my pace got slower and just more deliberate. Like every step was like a meditation. And before I knew it, I was at the big waterfall and I was like, oh, that was fast. It was a lot closer than I had thought. <laughs> and I kind of just had this huge revelation as I'm looking up this really beautiful, like 300 foot small waterfall. I don't know, I'm really bad at estimating. It might've been like a couple hundred feet. It's probably not 300 feet. That's really far, right? <laughs> probably like 150 feet. <laughs> um, anyway, I was like, just like in awe of like how the water was trickling and it was so beautiful. And there was a couple other little areas and I was like I'm it's as beautiful as this is I'm so glad I didn't rush here because I was ex I experienced all the same beauty there truly was no separation between the beauty that I experienced on my walk there um, 
sitting with this waterfall and then sitting with that waterfall. And I sat there for a few hours in this little hollowed out tree, um, this, this, um, this dead tree that was like kind of hollowed out. It was like a little cave for me to sit and meditate in and I was just journaling and just really like tuning in. And, and then I climbed up onto some rocks and when the sun came out and I just basked in the sun and it was just such a glorious, glorious moment. And so the reason I really wanted to share all of this with you, so impromptu, so spontaneous, I mean, I like, you know, just, I just felt so energized and, and inspired and compelled to share this with you because I just felt like in this moment, it's so easy for you and I to keep moving forward, you know, for that goal. And it's a really important part of our drive, our ambition, and of our will to live and feel fully alive and to heal. And um, I just want to remind you that healing isn't a destination. Healing is a return to the wholeness that we already are. It's, it's our cells remembering how to function optimally and with a sense of aliveness and a sense of their own intelligence being activated again so that they can live just like nature lives in harmony. Like right now, these trees are exhaling oxygen and I am inhaling oxygen and I am exhaling CO2 and they are inhaling CO2. We are in a relationship. We are relating with each other and that relationship is sustaining life. And the relationship that you have with your cells, with your body, is the relationship, is the only thing to master. It's the only thing to, if there was a destination, it would just be in mastering the relationship between you and your body. And so I just bring this message to you today with a sincere prayer that every single cell in your body remembers that, remembers the wholeness that it already is. And if you want to just take one breath with me as we wrap up this video, just to breathe in that knowing and exhale any fear or limiting beliefs that your mind might tell you it's not possible. And just with every inhalation, just inhale to remember that truth and just to open to the possibility that you're a lot closer to your health and your wholeness and your aliveness than you may have imagined. Have a beautiful day, my friend, and a beautiful week. I'll talk to you soon.